Good morning, North Carolina Prepper here. Today we're going to make some homemade or do-it-yourself scent block for hunting. Uh, the commercial products work fine, but they're awful dang expensive. And basically, you can make your own with uh, a quart of distilled water or well water or any water that doesn't have chlorinates in it. Uh, you know, so any tap water doesn't smell. Um, that'd probably work too, I guess. Um, quart of peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, about an ounce of unscented body wash or or baby shampoo, just anything unscented soap, and about a cup of um, baking soda. So what I did is I went ahead and took a quart of water in a two liter bottle here. And I went ahead and microwaved it to get it hot to help with the distillation or the um, diffusing of baking soda. And I got a little extra here, hot water. The rest of the corks, I want to make sure I get all, at least all the peroxide in. So what we do <coughs> is, make sure it's in frame. It is not. Get it outside of the way. Basically, we're going to take and get all the baking soda in the water. This is a cup. And of course, it didn't all go through. All right, so I got all that in. And make sure this is extremely clean. You don't want to have any soda smells in there, so I don't know what you guys drink, but whatever. I'm going to take. Uh, so hydrogen peroxide. <clears throat> and we're going to dump that in there. Oh wait. First, we're going to take and shake the crud out of that. Let's make sure we got that all the fluid as much as we can. Okay. And incidentally, this will outgas over the next three or so days. So, you won't let it sit in a dark room to do its goodness. And here's the peroxide. I'm going to save just a little bit right now. This is a 10 ounce of um, baby uh, baby soap, fragrance free. So I'm going to put about an ounce of that in there. Uh, that's about an ounce. Okay, so we got all the peroxide in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and shake that stuff a little bit. Actually, I'm putting the rest of the water in there. Because once I shake it, it's going to foam like crazy. Nice. Okay, so what we have in here is two quarts. All right, one quart of water, one quart of hydrogen peroxide, as you can see by the separate levels in there. Uh, one quart, or wait, what do we got? We got 50 50 water peroxide and one cup of baking soda and one ounce of soap. So we'll go ahead, take that out, put that over there, put this over here, and just kind of shake it up a little bit. the pressure off. We're going to actually keep it without having pressure all the way up. I'm going to grab a towel here. Sorry. There we go. So 
we have that set. Uh, I let this sit in a dark cabinet for a few days as it will outgas. Squeeze a little bit there. So don't tighten this all the way, but just enough so you can still have gases escaping from it because it will, like I said, outgas. Then, after about three days, you want to fill up your bottle. This just has water in it for now, but you fill this up. <clears throat> Uh, check my notes. Don't tighten. Don't do this. Now here's how to apply it. <coughs> Excuse me. Your homemade scent blocker. Um, you can use it. You use it to wash yourself in the shower, your body, your hair, your entire body. Animals have a strong sense of smell. If you miss any area, let me stress that. If you miss any area, they'll smell it. And they'll detect you. Now, bow hunting season is just now coming up. And when you got to get that close, that's when this stuff really, really matters. Um, don't don't put on a de fragrant or deodorant after you get out of the shower. I mean, a lot of you hunters already know this stuff, but still. Uh, when you dry your clothes, or don't use a scented towel that's had scented detergent. Wash them all with normal detergent that's unscented, doesn't have UV whiteners, etc. Um, then you want to take your clean towel and everything, and you want to put it in the spray bottle and you want to spritz down your clothes and let them dry outside. Um, your clothes, your boots, etc., your gear. Carry the spray bottle with you um, for your hunting. If you get a little sweaty while, while hiking. Actually, we'll make some baby wipes later, and you could use this in the baby wipes I'm going to make to, to clean your pits when you're out in the woods. Uh, spray yourself down, spritz yourself down, spritz yourself down after you get out of your truck. Because your truck's going to have your smells from everyday life with you. Don't get it in your eyes, in your mouth. When you're back from hunting, take a regular shower. Use regular soap and water to remove all the baking soda on you, baking soda, etc. All the chemicals. Now here's how it works and why it works. The 3% hydrogen peroxide, I said 3% right. Probably. The 3% hydrogen peroxide oxidizes the organic matter uh, so it doesn't smell anymore and it also kills off bacteria. Your armpit smells mostly from bacteria there. Um, you need the soap in there, or in this case I use baby shampoo, but unscented baby shampoo. You use that to um, lower the surface tension of the water so it can carry the other components under the surface of your clothing and get around and spread it out so that's basically it it's it's homemade scent blocker for hunting or whatever you know what you need to cut up your scent for out in the woods so it's it's 50 percent water 50 percent peroxide three percent pro hydrogen peroxide and one cup of baking soda all right that's much down prepper please rate subscribe and and make things cheaper if you can and you know, buy locally and all that good stuff. Alright, have a great day and be safe.